Are you ready? Oh yeah, brother! For Motorcycle.com All caps, scooter, shout out! But seriously, uh, they are scooters and their names have every character capitalized. Well, except for the number, I guess. What we've got here is I'm sitting on the Honda NM4 Space Machine and Troy is leaning against the Yamaha T-Max Sport Bike of Scooters. I'll start at the engines because that's a pretty big difference. The Yamaha has the standard CVT transmission that you'd expect to find in a scooter complete with a belt drive. The Honda has a DCT transmission so you feel it actually shifting gears instead of having the RPM just stay in one place as the ratios change on the Yamaha. The Honda also has a chain final drive and so it gives it I would say more of a motorcycle feel under acceleration and deceleration. When it comes to riding position the roles are completely reversed. I would say the the Honda with its Barca lounger of scooters riding position is uh, probably the most comfortable scooter I've ever ridden. It's the only one I've ever wanted to take a nap on while riding too. And the Yamaha with its high seat feels more motorcyclish in its riding position. What do you think? The Yamaha is, like you said, the sport bike of scooters, whereas the Honda is more of the Cadillac of scooters. The Honda, mind you, was you, the reader's choice, uh, pick for scooter of the year. So it's only natural we pit it against a maxi scooter that we haven't had a chance to test yet, the Yamaha. Uh, what can I say? Well, the Yamaha, the engine likes to rev. It's a pretty quick little scoot for, you know, for a scooter. It's 530cc parallel twin. Whereas the Honda is a bit lethargic, can you say? It's, it's heavy. Laid back. It's laid back. Yeah, it, it goes with the territory of having a laid back seating position. Nothing about the Honda here screams performance or going fast, and uh, that's probably a good thing because it looks so weird. You want people to take a look at it and, you know, say, hey, that's Batman's motorcycle. What's that over there? The T-Max here can get around corners pretty well. It's got high ground clearance. It uh, corners pretty quick. It changes directions pretty quick for a scooter. One thing I can say about the T-Max is the seat is really wide. When you're going along, it, you don't really notice it because you're rolling and you don't really care. When you come to a stop though, the seat's so wide it's hard to put your foot down if you're a shorter rider. Yeah, I would liken the wideness of the seat to that of riding a horse because it's actually wider below the saddle. Um, so your, your, your legs sort of bow out around it. Yeah, conversely the Honda is nothing like that. It's got a low seat height. You can touch the ground really easily. I've got a, about a 30 inch inseam and no problem there touching the ground. Yeah, talking about long, the Honda is a very, very stable bike. It has a 64 inch wheelbase. And so it tracks, it likes to hold its line. It, it's really stable at highway speeds. But combine that with the 18 inch front wheel and it's much heavier steering. It takes a little more effort to turn in. It doesn't turn in quickly. Whereas the Yamaha, it, it goes, you look where you want to go and it seems to read your mind. Uh, when it comes to the brakes on the Yamaha, um, the only complaint I have about the Yamaha's brakes is they do not have ABS, not even as an option. The brakes themselves rock. I think despite the fact that the Yamaha's storage is small by scooter standards, it blows away the Honda's storage. The Honda has these great big bags and I use big to define the exterior of them because when you open them you can't get a whole lot in there. I guess a change of underwear, you know, a couple power bars. There's the front pockets too on the Honda which also seem like a very nice feature until you open them and realize you could maybe stick a candy bar in there. Uh, the left side has a power port to charge your device but you'd be lucky to fit your charger and your device in the pocket. But the Honda here is meant to be a comfort vehicle, a cruiser scooter, whereas the T-Max here is a sports scooter. So they're kind of different worlds of motorcycling kind of combined into one. We mocked the Yamaha for having small capacity for storage compared to other Maxi scooters, but compared to the Honda, it's got a ton. Also has four gallons of fuel capacity, which is nice to have All in a scooter. Gallon. The Honda, I, I believe, has 3.06 gallons of capacity, so that's a significant difference. Yeah, they are designed for different markets. The Honda is designed for I believe less experienced riders, definitely less intimidating power-wise. I mean, you can set the, the DCT in manual mode and shift it yourself, 
but around town, the NM4 shifted into second gear before I was even out of the parking lot. And so it, it keeps the revs low, which um, I think would probably give it better gas mileage around town. And it just makes it really, really tame. People stop in their tracks crossing the street and look at the NM4. Um, it's an attention getter. It, it's really unique. So if you are an introvert, not the bike for you. If you're the type of person that uh, enjoys a good chuckle, you know, by people going, what the heck is that? Then the Honda is one for you. Personally, I love the looks of the NM4. I think it's totally cool in a really, really bizarre way. I don't mind the NM4 looks, personally. I, I think it's weird, no doubt about that, but I don't mind getting the looks every now and then from people crossing the street. We're talking roughly the same price for two motorcycles that do very different things. 10999 for the Honda. The T Max is 500 bucks cheaper, and so to pick a winner is not really fair to the other one because they are worlds apart. So it just depends on what you're looking for. If you want a sporty machine that can also take some groceries and you know have give you a good time in the twisties, maybe you want to veer towards the, the T Max. If you're looking for a cruiser type of thing that's different, will get you some popularity votes on Halloween contests, things like that, maybe the Honda's your choice. I agree. To really wrap this up so we can go out and shoot some more video, I'd say, yeah, Troy is exactly right. Depending on the type of person, type of rider you are, will determine what which of these you would desire. But you're gonna have to read the rest of our all cap scooter shout out on Motorcycle.com and find out where the chips fell after we put all the figures into the spreadsheet.